Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials and today I will show you how to transform any text or shape masks into a 3D strings audio visualizer in Adobe After Effects using Stardust. So create your composition and let's get started. So after creating your composition, and as you see here in my comp, I have a text layer start as applied to this one and audio to work with and a background here. And before we start this tutorial, make sure to watch the previous one because this one is linked to it and we are going to focus on how to create different look to these audio reactive. So make sure to watch it first so it's going to be easier for you to follow with me. So now let's jump here to emitter and choose here text and mask, emitting ones, zero out, speed and and the size C. And on path properties, we're going to choose here each weighted and layer properties. We're going to assign our text right there. And on particles node, just need more life so we can see that outline and the size just three for now. And probably here, going to choose screen or add. For now, you will not see anything, but later when we add colors, you will see that effect. So now let's just add here turbulence node and let's connect that to these particles note here and just going to rename these audio reactive just so I'm going to organize things here so right now you can see anything because the position offset is zero out so we'll leave that to 100 and then you can see what's going on here so I'm going to choose here axis and probably going for Y here and instead of infinite we're going for sphere and make that sphere bigger here thousand probably and now if we move here origin X you can see now we have vecting area we want that exactly what we want here basically we want the audio to control these origin here and before that let's just change the noise scale here probably something around that and lower frequencies and amplitude as well for now probably just something like that and we're going to add expression to these and basically first we need the audio here so let's convert the audio here to keyframes let's just remove here these right and the left channels and keep just this one and before that you need to take a look on the values here just so you can have the idea of your audio the highest uh, values and the lowest one we covered that in a previous tutorial so make sure to watch that and so now let's just go back here to turbulence and basically here I want to create some variables here I want the X and the Y here so basically this is going to be X for these origin and the Y here and also here I want to add the B which is the booth channel and basically now what I want here is to just make sure we have B plus X which is the values just in case we want to adjust that so basically now what we can see here well you can see if we select here this one here you can see there is actually some animation on that origin but because the values is really low we can't see much of affecting these turbulence here so what we're going to do here actually is to remap the values you can use linear expression to do that instead i'm going to use is which is the same actual so b equal is and then i'm going to remap these values so i want the audio from zero to probably 20 comma I want the new values to be minus 5000 and around 1000 and probably 300. So basically these are going to be um, the new values of the origin X. So let's see where is that. So you can see now we can see that moving right there. And basically we can just adjust that if we need to. Basically let's just scale these text so we can have more space right there. So now you can see there is actually affecting that driven by the audio right there. And then I want to do the same thing here, but this time for the position offset for the turbulence here. And so let's add expression to these. So I'm just going to copy these B variables here and then just copy that or paste it right here. So and now I have boot channels and ease. And basically I just want a new range here from zero to 10. And basically I want that affecting just really subtle 
probably 30 or so. So now there's going to be some effects into that as well. So if we put that to the middle here, you can see there is some reaction for that. So probably let's go to 50 to see more of that. So now we have both of these reactions going on the origin and the position offset both of them right there we have covered in the previous tutorial how you can use the if statement to go more in depth of that so we can use the same thing so here i'm just going to show you quickly how you can make things reactive right here so now basically we have these reacting for the first audio reactive let's just control d to duplicate this node here and let's connect that to this one so for the second one here we need these position offset so instead here we're just going to use the same so even these turbans we don't need that so let's just using the opposite here so what I mean when these first one to be right here this one I want it to be on the opposite direction so let's add expression to these second one and just link that to the first one here and basically are going to have the same values but we want to multiply that by minus one and then add the value of the second one here so now basically it's just going to jump right there so let's have that 1080 and it's going to get into the middle so if we check both of these we are going to see the other one on other direction so now we can basically just adjust these both of this. So now probably let's just check they are not far outside of the comp. Let's see the max values. So probably there just going to add that a little bit. And for this one here, so I make sure they are both inside a comp. So, well, that's fine and it looks pretty good, but because they have the same um, turbulence properties, they're not going to say that much. So for example, this one, second one, I want that to affect the X axis and then just have different variation here on the noise as well. Just so we can have two different effects in the same um, particles there. So just have something different here and probably here just 70 and then just randomize here the scale and colors and opacity. And because this is a sphere actually, it's just going to affect different parts here. So you can see this one and because they are pretty, both of them are big, probably just going to lower that. Probably even these smaller so they have less overlaps there so you get the idea now how they are overlapping and basically they have different turbulence fixing so probably these too far away we have here some uh, turbulence affecting and probably just 700 this one probably just to have some nice impacts on the sides there so let's just preview and see how this looks like So as you can see this look pretty cool as it reacts with the audio which is really nice. So we can keep going with these so I'm going to add another duplicate of these and just going to have more of that reaction just to create different ranges here. So instead of sphere I'm going for infinite and we don't need here these turbulence origin. So instead I'm going to use here position and just using the same expression actually here. just. Let's just copy this expression here. We're just going to have a different values for this. So probably the range 10, 20. We want now minus 20 and 20 on position offset, which is going to add that to the whole thing and just going for the different values on the noise scale, just so we can have a different variation on all of that. And the same thing here, going for noise frequency and just have a different look for that. So we're going to keep the same range, but the values this time, well, the more of that range of frequency we have, the more it's going to look really uh, more frequent. So let's have just for example here uh, 150 so you can see how that's look but I don't want that so I'm just going to keep that 5 and 15 here just to settle of that frequencies here. We can play with noise scale as well but we can actually change these settings once we add the replica node. We can add also fractal speed just put that in so we can have that on the fractal. 
and so let's duplicate it one more time here and this time this is going to be same on infinite and we want that to be on the y here and then we don't want position reaction on this one so i'm just going for probably 30 now and i want these to be on fractal evolution instead of frequency and then just have that on the highest that so 20 to 35 probably and i want that between 5 or maybe 10 and 20 so this is just going to react on the fractal evolution so we're just building up different ranges of the audio with different um, settings of the turbulence node here. So everything will make sense when we add a replica node here. So this is just going to kick in different values on different ranges here. So now what I'm going to do here, just add a replica node and let's connect that and go for scatter here and let's add 10 of these replicates. And so let's first go along path and just choose here noise gradient and a mix path and life let's just put that to zero so we can have both of these and basically now you can still see anything so on the scale x going for 70 and probably y 50 you can see this go crazy we don't want it like that but we want to fix the anchor use and we want to use particle birth and it's just going to give us this really nice look here as it looks like some strings going on right there and so just a few adjustments here on the size along path going for these presets just to have variation on that so they are not the same size not going to zero out that so just going around there probably here and then on these turbulence we can start playing with the settings there to get a really different look so for example if we disable these two notes we still can get some really nice reaction there so you can see here with just the sphere on the x we can start now customize these as we we'll like here so let's start with these two first so probably this one just to check here so maybe because they are overlapping we have too much turbulence there so probably this one we can just move that to the side a little bit more since we have this one right there so just we can have something like this probably and here maybe because we have more offset on these so probably just 50 for this one and so we can see here just with two notes we can get some really nice reaction to these text as you can see here and we can of course change here the turbulence type and the axis so let's turn on the other ones so basically in this case when we just turn on this turbulence audio reactive two here or the third one we are affecting the rest here on the infinite so now we are getting more of that nice look look so we can now just probably have more of these scale offset and this is just going to zero out or make particles smaller on some areas we can play here with the noise depends on the look we are going for here as you can see so we can just keep going on that so i'm just going to turn on the last one here just so to check the adjustments right here so probably this one instead of both axes i'm just going to keep it on one side so just going like that so you can see here we got some really cool reaction so just pay attention to the values because they need to be just subtle values here so let's just reveal all of these expressions here just so we check on these values here so probably this one just 40 here for example so let's preview and see how these looks like As you can see here this look pretty cool and now basically you can change your text and it's just going to update and we can also here change to whatever style and play with our text here as you can see we can change the font and so on and just going to update immediately so i find it just fine with these pretty font and airline here 
let's just zero out spacing here and you can see this look pretty cool and you can adjust the notes again if you want to depend on the font and the style you are looking for so now i'm just going to quickly just add some stylized to this so i'm going to add a new adjustment layer and let's rename these glow and i'm going for deep glow because it's just faster and give you the result right away you can use after effects glow that's going to be fine as well another new adjustment layer and let's rename these soft light and i'm going to add cc composite to these and just set these transform mode to soft light and just put these below the glow another adjustment layer here and this one going to be the look so i'm just going to add and sharper mask and noise and blometry color here so let's put noise at the end just three and probably 25 on amount of and sharp mask and then just on creative i'm going for these blue eyes and we are going to get some really cool look here so you can stylize it the way you want probably you can add or leave the glow to be at the end and then just adjust things the way you would like things to look so i'm just going for it like these you can see the nice highlights which is right here on these um white color of the node you can see that to add probably i'm just going to leave that screen actually now you don't need just to use text actually you can also use a mask so i'm going to create a new solid and let's read that mask and then i'm just going to create a mask here for example something like that you can even create a text-based mask on photoshop or illustrator and then bring that in after effects and then just assign it here so now just going to update for these masks using the same look of these 3d strings so hopefully this tutorial was very useful for as always and if you have any questions just comment and i will do my best to be responsive and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and thank you for watching